Ansonsten. Alright, Harry, so here's like a simple synth loop, right? These are three uh, synth parts, and then here's my kick drum. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the kick drum and basically make a new new kick drum track, right? I'll just duplicate this actually. I'll go hit, hit that, make a copy, right? Drag all that down. So now I got two of the exact same track, right? Of the kick. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set, I'll just label this kick side chain, right? Then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to set the output to no output, right? So now, when this is playing, so now it's hitting the channel and there's something going through there, but nothing's coming out. Right, because it's routed to no place. Right. The next thing I'm gonna do is gonna create a send to something. I'm gonna name this also kick sd uh, side chain. Right. And I'm gonna do the same thing and set this output to nothing. So now I can use this send to control how much I wanna, how much of it I wanna, um, you know, send to the side chain. Right. So you see, if I just do a little, it's just a little bit hitting the side chain. If I put it all the way up, boy, you're still not hearing anything. So you're sending this signal around, but you're not hearing anything. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the synth tracks, and I'm going to create a bus for those. You don't necessarily have to create a bus, but sometimes it's a little bit easier um, if you want to just put the side chain on the same side chain on a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm going to create a bus and send all of these three synths to the same bus. So whatever, we'll call it, uh, send it to bus 18, and we'll call it synths, right? So I'm going to go to the next one, also send it to that same place, bus 18. Next one, same thing, bus 18, okay? So now again, listening without it. <laughs> So now on this bus, all my synths are being controlled on this one bus. All right. So from here, I'm going to open up the compressor. All right. I'm going to go up to the side chain part, and I'm going to select bus 20 because that was the side chain. All right. And now you're going to see that the, uh, the kick that has no output that we're not hearing is going to be triggering this compressor. So you see that by this, this meter right here. And as you bring the, as you bring the compressor, the, the ratio up and the threshold down, you're going to hear the compressor kick in and start to squash more, but it's going to squash the music in, it's going to squash the synths in that the same pattern that the synth is doing. So watch, if we start here. What you got to do is just play with the compressor and the ratio until you get the sound that you're looking for. And then you can also play with the attack and the release. So this is with it bypassed, with it off. And then on the same group, because you have all the synths together, you can also do things like use a low cut um, filter to kind of like build tension and stuff like that. And then all you do for this, just open up my loop a little bit here. You put the that group that also has all the synths on it into touch mode, 
and then you play it and then you just move your slider here however you want to automate the low cut. <laughs> Switch this back to read. The other cool thing about having the kick sidechain on its own track with no output, right? Because remember, this is going no place, is that if you have a break in the song, and you take the drums out, you'll still get that side chaining effect without um, needing to have that track there. See how that kind of works? So I don't know, maybe that'll help you. <laughs> 